Throughout history, there have been a multitude of fine battles, ones that the history books look back upon and say, my goodness, the men and women who fought in those battles were just absolutely legendary. I mean, my goodness, they put down their lives, they put their lives on the line for their country, and win or no win, victory or defeat, they did it regardless. They did it not for themselves, but they did it for their country. And today, I've come to you with yet another battle, a battle that worth, that dwarfs some of the greats, such as the Vietnam War and uh, the uh, other wars that I... Okay, I didn't listen in history class. What, what can I say, man? I, I, I don't remember the rest of them. But regardless, this, this, this is a... Shall we say... Um, how should I put this? It's, it's a battle that you could consider a literal cold war. And it indeed does dwarf some of those in history. Because in this battle, it is fought by two people. Two entities, rather. Myself... And the LG refrigerator. It's It's been trying to kill me, okay? I know that's an exaggeration, but it sounds like it's a little bit drastic to say that an inanimate object is trying to assassinate me. But ladies and gentlemen, I am not playing no games when I say this fridge has literally tried to just take my life out. Snuff my life force out. D just, just end my career, so to speak. Now... Late last uh, few, I think this was a few nights ago, I was doing the Cyberpunk 2077 gaming setup thing, and I was, you know, I had to go get the, um, I had to go get the toaster oven from the actual kitchen, because I didn't have the actual toaster oven with me on the table, I had to go get, so I went to the kitchen, regardless, right, and I step in a little puddle, alright, now this puddle, it's quite a, it's quite a decent size, you know, I'd say, I'd say it's about, maybe taking up a little, like, one-eighth of the room, you know what I mean, it's it's a pretty noticeable puddle. I step in it, and I'm like, oh, oopsie, I must have dropped some water here or something. But as I turn on the light and I trace the puddle back to its or origin, I realize, by God, the, the it's coming from the fridge. The fridge pissed itself. But no, not really. You see, I actually turned off the fridge um, unbeknownst to me. I thought I was just turning off the freezer to the fridge. Wait, now that I think about it, <laughs> now that I think about it, the, I, I was de just defrosting the fridge without knowing I defrosted it, as stupid as that sounds. Like, I, I, let me just say, I did not know that much water would come from melting all that ice, okay? It didn't seem like that much ice, but now, after after I defrosted it and it, well, uh, turned into a big-ass puddle and flooded my fridge, um, safe to say it was a pretty big, pr pretty good, decent gallon of water that came of that. But anyways, regardless, I, I realize, oh no, this is bad. However, some heroes stepped in and uh, pretty much saved my ass. The first one being a tray that I had no idea existed that was placed under the refrigerator, not the refri the freezer on top of the that's on top of the fridge, little tray, and it basically it just caught all the water and all the water was just chilling there, no pun intended. So I'm saying, oh thank goodness, okay, crisis averted, just a little spillage, nothing to worry about. All right. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like I'm going to accidentally tip over the tray and spill all the water onto the floor, okay? But that does ring up a question. How am I going to get rid of all this water? So I think on my feet, I say, Eureka, I got an idea. Let's get a bucket from the kitchen sink. So, well, actually not the kitchen sink. So there's a bucket I have under my little bathroom, um, what is it called? The stupid, the, the desk thing with the sink. So, now that I think about it, I probably could have just taken the tray and put it in the kitchen sink. But I don't trust myself enough to balance all the, like, to, to balance and not, like, shake and shiver when I'm trying to take out the tray. All the water could have just spilled with one little misstep. So, I wanted to take things cautiously, which is pretty ironic considering how it turned out. So, I take that bucket, right? And let me, let me just show you the hero. See this brave soul right here? This man is a hero. He should be hailed for years to come and should receive a badge of honor, if I'm being honest. He came in and saved my ass from having to take any drastic measures when dealing with water. So, just, again, shout out to this bucket here, but now back to the video. So, basically, what happened was I took the bucket, right? I went to the, to the kitchen, and, of course, because that's where the fridge is, I don't know what I'm saying, but... So, I take the bucket, right? And it's a simple pour the tray water into the bucket, you know, nothing nothing too serious. But I must be going death or something, because, unbeknownst to me, I had actually tipped off the tray. So, it, it's like, it's hanging on a little bit of an angle. 
So, and if you mess with it a little bit, it'll start tipping. So I just by accidentally nudged it a little bit and apparently I just didn't hear the sound of gallons of water hitting the kitchen floor because it took me like a good five seconds to look back and realize, oh shit, all the water is spilling. So I gotta, I gotta like hustle and like bring that bucket and bring the bad boy in and just, just get, I only got like a little bit of water honestly, <laughs> honestly at the end of the day, I guess that bucket really isn't a hero then in that, in that case, but anyways, so yeah, now I'm like, oh, shit, because now there's just, it's looking like the Titanic out here, there's water everywhere, I take out, I, I use all the paper towels, I'm literally out of paper towels now, because I used all the damn paper, pa paper towels, I can't speak English apparently, but paper towels to wipe up that mess. And let me just say, it was it was quite the duel. It was quite the duel indeed. But in the end, I, I, I kicked its ass. LG refrigerators not only suck at refrigerating, but they apparently suck at just combat in general. So I, I don't really know what to say. I guess I took two W's that day. <laughs> One, I took a W on dissing the LG brand, and two, I took a W in the literal Cold War. Now, I know you're thinking, oh, well, that's not very eventful. I don't know why I even bothered watching this video. Just a man talking about the fact that he nearly flooded his fridge because he's a dumbass. Well, I'll tell you what, sir. I'll tell you what, sir or ma'am. If you are thinking that right now, I gotta tell you that you're absolutely right. I just completely wasted your time. But that does bring in the question of... Is, is there an argument to be had that this this little battle of mine, this war of mine, was it as good or better as some of the modern day, just not modern day, but classics, like absolute classic battles that took place, have taken place over the years? Again, I never paid attention in history class, so I don't know what those are, but there, that does, I don't know, it could be. I don't know what the battles were. Again, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention in history. I have to reiterate that, but that's just to let you know. Again, like who knows? So <laughs> I don't even know what this video was, man. But that that was it, man. That that's the video. Uh, I promise. Okay, I pr I promise. Stick with me. I I'm t a few days from now. I'm gonna actually do some some good content. Okay, some decent, some quality content right there. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing that, you know. I got like two series on the way, another one on the way. You know, we just we got everyone on the way. So stick around for that. If you like like this video, uh, sub subscribe, I guess. And I I'm out because this video is already long enough. Oh yeah, I ain't got no catchphrase. That's about it.